Hi people, how's it going? We gotta defend the world. Side Red Cliff Village. There we go. Got my camera adjusted. Alright, uh, let's talk to this guy. Greetings, Grey Warden. I am as relieved as Ban Tegan is to see you here. I must admit, I do not know how to address an elf in your position. I do not wish to be rude. Oh, Garion, that would be a good start. As you wish, and thank you kindly. I am Sir Perth, until recently in direct service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. For now, my charge is defending the village from these evil assaults. Mm -hmm. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes. Perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle. Or perhaps I would be dead. Ah, well, with a great warden aiding our defense, perhaps all is not lost. He's totally hitting on me. Alright, questions. Ask me whatever you wish. Alright, let's go into that mill and get it on. Okay, what's happened you here? You know about as much as I do. I returned a day before the attacks began, having heard strange rumors about the abandoned castle. I was the only knight to survive the first attack. Since then, I found others returning from the Arlesa's quest. Until we get to the source of this evil, though, I do not think it will stop. And I don't believe we will be enough. Okay, where could I get supplies? I'm not sure. Murdoch mentioned a blacksmith in the village, but I believe the militia is using everything he had. Beyond that, you might try the village store. It's locked up, but there may be items of use still within. I do not know. Okay, what about the tavern? Ugh, a fellow named Lloyd runs it. He refuses to close and evacuate to the Chantry. I suppose he might still have something to sell you, though I wouldn't encourage dealing with a fool. He's a profiteer and nothing more. All right, discuss something else? As you wish. Ah, uh, what can I do to help out? We have sufficient armor and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. Otherwise, I do not know what else you could provide beyond your own talents. We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be, all things considered. All right, I'll see what I can do. That gladdens my heart to hear it. As you wish, Grey Warden. Make a watch. Garion. All right. So there's a pub that we didn't know about. Draw your weapon. Are you talking to me? Your weapon. Draw it. Why? Are we under attack? I want to see what you can do. You want to fight me? Just like that? You are a Grey Warden. How are you going to face an Archdemon if you cannot face me? It is a mystery, I'll admit. I should let your weakness damn us all. Draw your sword. I'll try not to injure you permanently. Boys. I don't have to prove anything to you. Forget it. So you do have a spine. Pity you don't use it. Oh, man. So this way, I think. No, obviously not. But we're here, I may as well just check it out. What? Who are you? Yes, what can I do for you? Yeah, I got a letter for you. I knew this time would come. I should have listened to my wife. Don't sign that paper, she said. They might pay you a few sovereigns now, but they'll be back. Blast. I'll see you on the front lines, I suppose. Okay. Yeah, let that be a lesson to you, mate. Injury kit? Yes, we'll need that. Thanks. Oh, bookshelf. Let's get started. 
Paula Vaisley. Right. As you wish. Okay. This is the tavern. Making a big boat. I don't remember much about this quest. I do know that um, it doesn't start until we start it. How do we get into the pub? Ah, this would be how. Okay. Okay, let's go see what's in the pub. Pubbles! Okay, I'm gonna save. Just in case I gotta get it smart with him. Graffiti. The graffiti in Red Cliffs Tavern. Hello, Lloyd. Hello there, friend. Can't say we've ever met before. Stranger to the village, I take it. Yep. Haven't had many travelers lately. All this nonsense is bad for business. Bet you regret coming, yes? Just a little bit. Uh, business. Right. I've got some supplies, too, in case you're interested. With the store closed down, it doesn't hurt to pick up some of the slack, eh? Hmm. Okay, you don't really have much. Do we have anything you need? go hey Bella another doom soul come to drown their sorrows here I see if you came here for a drink you'd have to talk to Lloyd he's got a vice grip on the spigots I'm just here to keep the boys from mutiny how's business what business without the castle soldiers the only customers we have are local and they're all in the militia with no money to spend the few with any money are here, but it's not enough to justify working. Lloyd's a greasy pig. And if I didn't need this job so badly, I... Oh, so you don't like your boss. He gropes me and pays me next to nothing. But I suppose it could be worse. Not like I've got many options. Why don't you leave? And go where? With no money and no prospects, I just end up somewhere else working for someone worse. Would you leave if you had some help? You mean after the fighting's over? I'd really like that. What would I have to do in return? Don't end up another barmaid? Well, I can't promise that, but thank you. I don't really know what to say. Uh, what do you know about the elf in the corner? Not much. He's very quiet. Says his name's Beric and he's here to meet his brother, but I think he's lying. He's a bit... Creepy. All right. Uh, bye. Keep safe. I like creepy. Well, how can we that you're all just standing here? Not looking for company. 
train's seeing an elf here. And that's all we have in common. You're a dick. What does that mean? I'm not here to talk. There's something about this man's demeanor. I... I don't know. I have no idea what you're talking about. But you do, don't you? I know spy when I see one. Oh, snap! Look, just because you're an elf doesn't mean we should be friends. I was just told to... I mean, just leave me alone. No, you talk. About what? Just because you're a Grey Warden doesn't mean you can go around threatening people. Really? Who's gonna stop me? I... I'm not here to hurt anyone, I swear. I'll tell you what you want to know, just don't kill me! This is more than I bargained for. Look, they just paid me to watch the castle and send word if anything should change. But they never said anything about monsters. I haven't even been able to report anything since this started. I'm stuck, same as you, I swear! What are you supposed to watch the castle for? Just to report any changes. Honest. All I could send word about was the Arl getting sick. After that, monsters started coming from the castle. Mm-hmm. So who are they? A tall fellow. I forget his name. He, uh, said he was working for Hal. Arl Rendon Hal. He's an important man. Terran Logan's right hand. So I didn't do anything wrong. So do you know how this happened? I don't know anything about these creatures. When the Arl got sick, I got scared that people would think I was involved. But I swear I don't know anything about it. They sent me to watch. Maybe they knew the Arl would get sick. I don't know. All right, how do I know you're telling the truth? Here, this is a letter from them. It has instructions and everything. Good. Keep it. Do whatever you want with it. Well, I just read it. thought I was serving the king and making a bit of coin on the side. You have to believe me. Um, the king's dead, so you're actually serving the queen, but you're not really because it's her dad, but he doesn't really have anything to do with that. And she's mad. Uh-huh. Well, why don't you help defend the village? Fitting. Oh, all right. I'll do it. Thank you for your mercy. I won't forget it. Yeah, you'll probably be dead. I'll, ac I'll accidentally kill you with some friendly fire. That urinal. Okay. Okay, the alienage still. All right. Oh, man. So much stuff. I have not looked at any of this. I, <laughs> I can't be bothered right now. Clothes, books and songs, blah, blah, blah. Oh, wait, there's another one? There we go. Notes. Berwick's letter. Meet your eyes and ears of Redcliffe. Stay in the village, keep your head down, and watch the castle. Report any changes, you'll be well paid. Don't eat the cheese. That was the graffiti. Alright. Well, there you go. Let's go talk to the militia. I can't believe Lloyd won't even give us some free ale. A time like this, and all he thinks about is turning a profit. Did you expect any different? That bastard's always been cheaper than an antique from the hall. Here we are defending the village, and he don't even have the decency to help us out. Hmm. So you want to be drunk for the upcoming fight? I was drunk for the last two fights, and I wouldn't have it any other way. If you fought those things, you'd know. 
Lloyd is charging us for coin we don't even got anymore. Nobody's working right now. We're all just trying to survive. Ah, uh, what difference does it make? He won't care. Hmm. Hey, Lloyd. Hey, what can Lloyd get you? How come you're charging the militia for ale? Why shouldn't I? They may not have much coin, but I'm not giving it away for free. Yeah, well, the money won't help if you're dead. Hey, there's no need for that kind of talk. That's murder. I wasn't talking about killing you. I was like... Something else I can get for you? Why well, why I? don't we try... I may not have much coin, but I'm not giving it away for free. Fine, I'll pay for the booze. I would indeed. And much obliged for the business. Right then. Militia drinks are paid for thanks to this lass. Sure, a bit of thanks, I'd say. You're a saint, darling. I hope you didn't pay more than a few coppers for this swill. Uh, hope you're all drowning it. Something else I can get for you? Right then. Nope. You fucking bastard. What's back here? Whoa, 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 there we go. Nothing. Nothing, honey. Okay. Let's go to the Chantry. And then I think after that, we are ready for the fight. Oops, sorry guys, don't shoot me. Woohoo! Okay, I'm gonna have to finish up after this. I'm awfully hungry. Evan said you were the one who found him. That's right. I can't possibly repay you. Yeah, just stay safe. The maker sent you. I just know it. Thank you again. You're welcome. Hey, mom. Ma'am. You are of elven blood and a stranger. Yet you defend a home that is not your own. We are grateful for that. I need to talk to Arl Eamon. And the only way to do it is to help the village. I will be grateful of your attempt, even if it fails. We can ask no more. Mm. Allow me to introduce myself. I am revered Mother Hannah. Oh, God. Head of this chantry, which for the moment is a place of refuge for these poor villagers. How awful this must be for you all. Is this everyone who's left? All those who cannot defend themselves, yes. They are terrified mm. of tonight's attack, and I fear these walls will not keep them safe. What can I do to help with your task? Oh, yeah, um, Sir Perth wants, uh, holy protection. I have done all I can for them. I pray for them each night and seek the Maker's forgiveness for their sins before they face their deaths. What Sir Perth seeks is something that is not in my power to give. You can't even do a bless spell? I can pray with them and give them my blessing. But Sir Perth wants me to call upon the Maker to shield them from evil. Well, can't you just tell him the Maker will watch over him? Morale is a powerful thing, you know. You mean you want me to let them think the Maker protects them in a real sense? I will not lie to them like that. You believe an invisible guy in the sky? What the fuck? Psychology, mate. I suppose their belief in the Maker's power could inspire them. But it just seems like trickery. Very well. If it keeps them alive, I will do what I must. You are asking for forgiveness holy symbols. for sins from an invisible man. Peace, and that wearing them will confer the maker's protection. Now yeah. please, let me tend to these poor folk. I must do what I can. And I suggest you do the same. Who's blowing smoke out of whose butt?
You talk to an invisible man that doesn't exist and hope that maybe he'll do something for you. Yet, you can't do enough pretending to pretend for them. Stop fidgeting. I don't like being out here. We need to go up there. How do we go up there? Come on. We'll talk to Sir Perth. God damn it. Come on. We'll talk to Sir Perth and that'll be that. I think I'm going the right way. Oh, will we make it up here? Always had trouble in these damn things. Oh, there we go. Hey, girl. The Knights of Redcliffe are ready to fight at your disposal. Yeah, I got some holy protection for you. Have you spoken to the revered mother? Has she offered anything? Ah, uh, yeah. She's got some holy amulets. Must we do this? The faith that will protect these men must come from their heart, surely. If they are the same as the symbols worn by their priests, well, that would more than suffice. Well, glad I could help. I will send some men to collect the amulets. Please give my regards to Mother Hannah for seeing some sense at last. Uh-huh. As you wish, Grey Warden. Make a watch over you. Hi, Liana, you fucking bitch. I'm glad I'm not in a relationship with you. Anyway, I'm gonna save, so I guess we'll start the fight next time on Friday. I'll see you then.